Good morning everyone, this is Lori from My Garden in Bloom. I garden here in Zone 8B up by Mount Hood in Oregon. I wanted to talk about these New Guinea impatiens. I actually just love these plants. They mostly seem to like it in, in shade. In one of my, they're in one of my uh, shade gardens. So I think I'm going to actually try to... Oh, look at who's sneaking over here. Hello, Sandy. That is Sandy. And over there is Cinnamon. Oh, look at Sandy's going to come over and lay in the shade. Such a pretty girl. They're the neighbor's kitties and come over and visit me in my garden while I work. Anyway, um, next year I'm going to put in a lot more of these. I just absolutely love them. And I have a couple of other places that I'm thinking of putting them in that are pretty high shade areas. Also, one of the things that I will never do is put a dark coleus like that in a shade area. You really can't hardly see that thing you know, from across the yard. So next year, I love putting coleuses in the shade, but I will put something that has more color to it. So you'll be able to see it, but something that matches this New Guinea impatient, because I just love these things. There's actually two plants right there. And then I have a single one over there. And I think also they look really good with this variegated hosta. This hosta is it's the first year that I planted it there. It will actually get like about 18 inches high and two feet across. So it's going to take up that whole back area there, which I, um, I like that, that it's going to get bigger, that it's not one of the smaller hostas. We keep this area open right here because the neighbor let us, lets us dump um, shavings over there and then Wally takes the lawnmower and cuts it down. So we keep it pretty uh, cut back over there even though we do use it to dump yard shavings and stuff like that. Oh look at Cinnamon's coming over. Cinnamon, are you gonna put, are you gonna try to scare Sandy? I don't think you're scaring her very good. Uh-uh. She sees you coming. And over here, this is, like I said, this is a new shade garden. And the reason that I put a shade garden over here is because I got this bench off the marketplace. I want to, I have a really large um, hosta in the backyard that is overtaking a, a shade garden back there. So I'm going to bring that in the spring. I'll do it in the spring. And I'm going to put it right back there. That is good. It's a large hosta, so that's going to take up that whole area back there. It'll look really good, and I'll have more. Oh, look at this. Isn't that cute? Hey, you guys. They're coming over and relaxing in our yard because I have shade garden for a couple of them for one reason. And our yard is just a lot cooler than um, their yard where they live. And I don't mind them at all coming over. I enjoy them coming over and visiting with me. But another place that I'm going to put those um, New Guinea impatience are, let me swing over here. Oh, aren't you too sweet? I'm going to put them over here in this shade garden. I have some Brenera that I, um, they were seedlings and I transplanted them here. So that means they're probably going to be twice as big next year. But won't those look pretty? The New Guinea impatient. I think they'll look so pretty right there. I'll probably put them throughout this garden a little bit. I'm working on getting more shade plants in here. So both of those gardens are kind of new to me, as I showed you before. Oh, can't hardly see it. That is my um, cottage garden. And this is the shade part of it. I'm taking out that uh, um, azalea and putting in a hydrangea. I think that'll look so pretty. It'll bloom most of the summer. I should put some water out here for the kitties to drink. Anyway, I just wanted to show you or let you know about my, my plans to put some more New Guinea impatience into my garden next year. Just, I think they're so beautiful and they add so much to the garden. And so do the kitties when they come over and visit. 
I hope everyone has a great day. We're going to have a heat wave here. I think the day tomorrow is going to be like 105. That's really unusual for Oregon, especially to have four or five 100 day um, days of heat. So, watering the lawn twice, uh, the lawn, <laughs> watering my flowers twice a day for the next couple of days, especially in the evening. I'll give them a heavy watering in the evening. And then I'll use the watering pot to, if I see th things look stressed out, I'll give them some water with my watering can. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great day out in the garden. Talk to you soon.